for the past somewhere between 15 and 20 years in the surface temperature record, there hasn't been an increase. So um, temperatures now are more or less um, where they were back in the late 1990s. This pause, or the hiatus, as the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change calls it, on its own, it's, it's not necessarily unusual, but the fact that it coincides with uh, of these predictions that we should have seen much uh, higher increases in temperature, uh, that's what makes it uh, an important interval to study and understand. Not the pause, it's the flaws. What I mean is what this is revealing is that there are some flaws in the models. One of the um, biggest candidates for explaining that, and probably the simplest, is just the models have built into them too much sensitivity to rising greenhouse gas levels. The reason they all predict there should have been so much warming is that there's been about a 15 percent increase in the CO2 level in the atmosphere over the past couple of decades. And if you put that into all the models, they all come back and say, well, you should have a lot of warming as a result of that. So if you have all the models saying that we should be observing something and then the data saying, no, actually, we don't see any of it happening, um, you either have uh, a lot of flaws in your data set, which I don't think is likely to happen given the agreement among all the different data sets on this, or you have some flaws in your models. 